Okay, as promised, here is our more advanced lettering video. Um, so what we're going to do here is uh, some circular text and monogramming. And it's different things you can do other than just doing straight across text like I did in the last video. Um, so to start, we're going to move our mouse up to the text tool and hit the little arrow, choose circular text and you click where you want the center of your circle to be. I'm going to click right in the middle of my design field here. And notice the circle is centered on that spot where I clicked. So my lettering is now going across this curve and it's sitting directly on this line and then the height goes from the inner circle to the outer circle. So over here in my properties, my height of 0.79 inches, that's how tall that part is. Now, notice I have two text fields in my properties now. I have uh, an upper and a lower. This will actually let you automatically put both the upper and lower bits of your circle on, which is nice. A lot of programs don't let you do that. and It's really a pain to get a circle of text going all the way across the top and then also on the bottom. So uh, what we're going to do is type in something, I don't know, Masterworks on the top and is super on the bottom just like anything else we have to hit apply before it makes any changes so we hit apply here there we go masterworks is super on a circle um, the the height works the same way as it did before the uh, in the other text meaning I can increase my height by typing this in uh, I can hit my question mark button here and it'll tell me again my minimum and maximum sizes so I can make it as small as 0.31 inches, as tall as 1.77 inches. Um, and uh, yeah, so I could take this and put it around an existing embroidery design if I wanted to, if I was making a logo or something. Uh, so that's pretty fun. Um, now, some different things you can do to change the properties of this. If I wanted my circle to be bigger than this default size, look at this blue handle right here. See the 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 mouse turns into this little circular thing and this will do two things. It'll let, let you increase the size. If I move the mouse straight up it's increasing the size of my circle without increasing the size of my letters. And it will also let you rotate if I move left or right it's actually rotating my letters. So it can be kind of tricky because you can accidentally rotate your letters when you were trying to just increase the size, but it, it that handle does both. Um, and I'm going to do a video on what all these different handles do. See these orange squares and blue diamonds and black dots everywhere. You know, it, it does a lot of different things, these different dots. But for this video, I'm going to show you this blue dot, like I said, changes the radius of your circle. This black dot all the way over here will stretch your letters. See that? It's stretching the letters without changing the height or changing the diameter of my circle. And this will change both the height and width of my letters, basically just changing the size my font is without adjusting the size of my circle. So I can really customize how my letters are looking to get them exactly how I want them. If I was, you know, circling uh, an embroidery design or something. Speaking of which, if I wanted to import an embroidery design directly into this, the way you do it is you go up to your little magic circle up here, and instead of, cho instead of choosing open, which would open a whole new design, we would hit merge. Now, you have to, again, know where your designs are for this. So I happen to know the path of my rose design that I've been using is in uh, C drive, so I go from my desktop to, we'll go to Computer, C Drive, Designer's Gallery, Masterworks 3, Working File, that's where my designs were. You would have to know the, the path to where your design is. Uh, but here we, we choose the single rows, and hit Open. Now I can move this just by left clicking on it and move it right into the path of where my lettering is. Now I've got this nice curved lettering going around my rows. So that's nice. Now notice, if I'm on my regular select, like right now I'm just selecting things with the left mouse button, look, it doesn't give me 
all those handles that I had before. Even though I've got it selected, it shows me my properties down here. If I want to actually change the size of the circle and stuff, I'd have to go back up to the text button and have that selected. See, and then it gives me these back. Just a little trick there. Okay, so what other types of lettering can I do? Um, I've showed you the circle lettering, but there's a whole bunch of stuff under this little tab. So here, let's I'm going to hit the delete button, get rid of my existing lettering there, and go back to the text. This one here says monogram. What the monogram tool does is lets me bring up an automatic monogramming. I'm going to go ahead and delete this rose out of the way here. All right, but this brings me this monogramming dialog here. And we look in our properties, and I can change my letters. Now this is assuming a three-letter monogram, so I'm going to put in my initials, B, A, M. I can hit apply. There, I've got my initials in. Let's zoom in a little bit. Scrolling the mouse wheel, by the way, the, the little wheel in the middle of your mouse zooms you in and out, which is nice. So there we go. I've got my three letters there. I can choose my font in a similar way to the way I choose my fonts in the regular lettering, but I've only got you know, this many fonts. These are all made specifically to be monograms, though. Um, probably my favorite monogram, really, is the classic diamond monogram. I'm going to choose that. Hit apply. This is the, you know, three-letter diamond-shaped monogram that you see on kids' backpacks and stuff like that. It's like the traditional monogram that you think of, uh, or at least that I think of when I think of a monogram. Um, and it automatically curves your, your first and your, and your second and third letters so that it is in a diamond shape. All right, so what else can I do with uh, lettering like this, uh, monograms? Well, one thing is I've got these, this section called Decor. And every font that is built into the monogram part of this gives you these little fancy decorations you can put around your, your monograms. And it'll automatically scale to fit your design. So it's pretty sweet. You just hit Apply, and boom, I've got a nice diamond to go along with my diamond monogram. Uh, if I change my font, to something else, like the round, then I get a different set of decorations. There I've got like a nice little decorative fancy thing, makes it look like a like a circle. Um, all these, they have their own little set. You know, some of them don't, like e Elegance here doesn't have any. So some have more than others. I don't know, I haven't really experimented with all of them personally. But most of them have at least one or two little decorative touches you can put on your monograms and they're they just they're made to fit perfectly with it uh, which is nice um, so that's your monogram tool uh, we also have under the text here we have vertical text this is the next one and this does pretty much what it says on the box you left click somewhere and it puts your letters going vertically down now you can only do one line at a time but otherwise it works the same as the other lettering where I just type in what I wanted to say hit apply and my letters are there vertically now this one is too wide to fit in my hoop here um, but I could rotate it this little handle here this blue dot on the side here rotates Again, I'm going to do a video on what all these different handles mean and all these different sections, um, but that's going to be its own video. So vertical is pretty self-explanatory. Not sure why my menu's doing that, but anyway, we're going to delete that. The next one is text on a path, and what this does is it'll let you put your text on a custom path. Now, when I left-click somewhere in the field here, this time it gives me all these different paths to choose from. So if I want to put my, my lettering on one of these types of lines, like maybe I want to have it going on a line going diagonally like this, it basically just sets my text to fit whatever path I choose. So that one was a diagonal line, I could have chosen a wavy line or what have you. And it'll act as if you are you wanted to put the lettering just on that line. <clears throat> um, so that's, otherwise it works the same as, as the vertical text. It's just going to put it on this line going that way. Um, so that's your more advanced text tools. Uh, and then my next video, I'm going to talk about what these different handles and stuff do, because that's 
kind of confusing because there's so many different colors uh, and, and shapes that display that do different things. So that's going to be the next video, and I'll see you over there.